gosh, Eric, don't, don't, don't cry. Daddy is here. Look at this face. Look at this funny face. A Roseanne Barr impression's only going to anger him more. I'm not impersonating Roseanne Barr. Dom de Louise. I'm not impersonating anyone. I'm trying to get Eric to stop crying. Have you tried leaving the room? <laughs> Lighten up, Willie, huh? Borrow a sense of humor, man. I'm not in the mood right now, okay? You want me to get him to stop? No, no. Sometimes babies need to cry. They just need to uh, exercise their lungs. Oh, why, that's fascinating. <laughs> Quiet! <laughs> Call in the delivery. If you need me, I'll be in the fridge. <laughs> for dinner. Oh, Alf, you just had lunch. Your dinners highlight my day, Kate. But then again, I have no life. <laughs> Any luck? No. You know what I'd love to have for dinner tonight? I guess I'm just gonna have to tell my boss that I can't show any more houses until we get a babysitter. Pork chops. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll find somebody. Maybe a nice ham. You think we're offering too little? Uh, maybe we should be paying more than $6 an hour. Hey, hold it! Flag on the play! You're paying these people? I'll do it! Did you call all the college papers? I mean, uh, every college... Yes. Perhaps you didn't hear me. Thus, I'll say it again. I'll babysit. Uh, no, I don't think so, Alf. It's nothing personal. It's just... Well, I guess it is personal. Call us crazy, Alf. Uh, we just feel that we should have a human babysitter, what with Eric being human and all. Oh, I see. And have you thought about what happens to me while that human babysitter rummages through my fridge? What do you mean, your fridge? Okay, it's your fridge. But the fuzz in the meat drawer is mine. When the babysitter's here, you're gonna have to be in the attic. Oh, great, prison. Why don't you just stick me in a sweat box? <laughs> We're all making adjustments, Alf. You're not gonna be up there all that much. Attica, Attica, Attica. Alf, cut the dramatics. I'm just gonna be working part-time. But I've got an instinctive rapport with kids. It's a gift that all Melmachians share. That and the ability to suck milk through our noses. <laughs> My. You are blessed, aren't you? As passionate as your argument sounds, Alf, the answer is still no. But why? 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 Because you're irresponsible. You trashed the house. You flooded the living room. You wallpapered the shower. It was a rhetorical question. <laughs> beautiful than the sight of a mother holding her freshly swaddled babe to her bosom. <laughs> Leave my bosom out of this, Alf. You're not babysitting Eric. Any luck? 
No, no, I've, I've draped him over my shoulder. I've laid him across my lap. I've bounced him. Eric just doesn't want to burp. Hey, mind if I show you a trick? The last time you showed me a trick, it took three weeks for my eyebrows to grow back. <laughs> I told you not to lean in. Come on now, at no time will the baby leave my hands. Spot him, Lynn. <laughs> hey, Eric, how you doing? Having a little gassy backup today? <laughs> huzzah! Huzzah! Who was that masked man? <laughs> Next case. Woohoo! Broccoli. So when do I start? By the way, Thursdays are bad for me. I do Tai Chi. Granny pal, you give good burp, but that doesn't qualify you to take care of an infant. Kate, it can't be any different than taking care of my younger brother and sister. And they had 16 stomachs between them. And one bathroom. Think about it. Oh, Alf, would you hit the baby's formula for me? What do you need formula for, Kate? Tapped out? Never mind, I'll do it. And thanks for not being petty about this, Alf. Oh, no, I'm being petty. I'm petty and irresponsible. You know, in time, this could become annoying. Now I'm petty, irresponsible, and annoying. The mud is being slung today. Hello? Oh, hello, Mr. Donovan. Oh, the property on Waverly Place, right now? Oh, uh, well, gee, this is not really a convenient time for me. Oh, that's pretty heavy wording there, sir. <laughs> but I, I don't see how I could possibly... Oh, there you go again. <laughs> well, no, no, of course I don't want to lose a sale when it's this close. It's just that... Tell him I'll be there in 15 minutes. I'd ask you what you're going to do, but that would be petty, annoying, and irresponsible. Not to mention nosy. Don't be smug. I'll call Mrs. Alcmonic. Eh, wrong answer. Oh, I'm sorry. That was annoying, wasn't it? <laughs> You're on vacation. Um, uh, all right, I'll call Mrs. Carlson. The woman who stands on corners and yells at buses? A wise choice. Right, right. Oh, uh, there's M Mrs. Applebaum. Don't you remember? She's out becoming Mr. Applebaum. <laughs> Oh, that's right, I forgot to send flowers. Too late for that. Send her some aftershave. Oh, I can't get a hold of Linny. She's still in school. Um, I'm here. Oh, all right, Alf. Will, will you babysit Eric? No, I'm busy. Of course I will, you silly ninny. <laughs> Alf, listen, all the important telephone numbers are right there by the phone. No. I will be back in 45 minutes, all right? in 40 minutes. Give Eric his formula when it's warm. Can you do that? Kate, don't worry. Go. Do the American thing and put your career ahead of your family. Okay, okay. I'm not a bad mother. I love my child. I love my child. Alf, I will be back in 25 minutes. In 20 minutes. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey! What's the matter, little guy? Whoa! Sorry, Los Angeles. Shoot. All right, I might be a little rusty. First, the easy part. Whoa! Number two with a bullet. All right, let me just swab the deck, okay? The old swabber. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Now, uh, a little powder under your tush. <coughs> All right, here we go. A little powder under my tush. Yeah. Okay, now a nice, clean diaper. Try to keep it that way. 
You know, this isn't so bad. I know I feel better. Yeah, you're a happy guy, aren't you? Yes. Okay, you amuse yourself while I bury this bomb. Clear the area. Coming through. Watch your back. I can't believe you forgot your mitt. They never play me anyway. Here, catch. Better. I'm gonna go get Eric. and asked me to get Eric. And you might want to take the price tag off the mitt. <laughs> and hurry. Yes, your hiney. I heard that. <laughs> Alf, we took the baby. I'm coming, I'm coming. Well, that should take care of those pesky gophers. <laughs> Eric, I'm back. Did you have time to reload? Eric? Eric! 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 Oh, he's gone! What have I done? Eric! Well, so much for keeping my powder dry. <laughs> right back. Hi, Alf. Oh, hi, Willie. I didn't see you come in. How was your day? Don't ask. I won't if you won't. Oh, right. And what have you done? And what's it going to cost me? Well, you see, Willie, that's the beauty of it. In the long run, it's going to save you money. You mean you did do something? I may have. I don't know. That's where you come in. Where's Kate? I want her to tell me. She doesn't know yet. She jumped off the mommy track and went to show some property. Well, who did she leave the baby with? Me. Oh. So, you want to split a fifth? What I want is to check on Eric. Fine. Go ahead. But whatever you do, don't go in the kitchen. <laughs> Eric! Eric! You get back in this dimension right now, Buster! I mean it. Where are you? Kitchen's fine. No, I am scared. <laughs> Eric! Eric, are you up here? Eric, this isn't funny anymore. Uh, Alf! Oh, oh, hi, Willie. Uh, whatever you do, don't go to the Chrysler building in New York. <laughs> what are you doing in the chimney? Well, it has nothing to do with Eric, if that's what you're getting at. Willie, Willie, can you get me out of here? <laughs> Willie? Where is he? So you don't see him either. Good, we're finally getting somewhere. <laughs> Alf. I don't know, Willie, he disappeared. Disappeared? What are you talking about? I don't know what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Did you check the house? Eric, Eric, it's Dad. I looked everywhere, Willie. 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just wanted to do good. I just wanted to make six dollars. <laughs> All right. Let's take this one step at a time. When was the last time you saw him? When I changed his diaper. I took it outside to bury it. When I came back, he was gone. Is it possible you took him with you? Well, it was a pretty heavy diaper, but no. Could I? <laughs> oh, Lord. Eric! Eric! Oh, Alf, give up. He's obviously not out here. This is not happening to me. There's got to be some logical explanation. Maybe a dingo took your baby. It happened to Meryl Streep. I'm calling the police. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Would it help if I apologized? <laughs> Eric? Uh, operator, could you get me 911 quick? Oh, of course, I realize I could have dialed that myself. So you can dial it for me. Which way do you think would be faster? <laughs> Please take control. Oh, thank you. And you. Did they find him? Uh, I'm on hold. Oh, what's gonna happen to me? I'll probably get the chair. I don't want to die, Willie. But mostly, I don't like pain. <laughs> Hello, 911. I want to report a missing baby. Uh, you've got to find him, please. He, he, he's only six months old. He's out there. He's all alone. He's scared. He's vulnerable. Can I call you right back? <laughs> oh, oh. Stay put. Hi, honey. Who, who was that on the phone? I have something very serious to tell you, Kate. Whatever you do, Kate. Don't go to the Chrysler building in New York. <laughs> what has he done and how much is it going to cost us? I don't know how to say this. Willie, what's... Is it my mother? We should be so lucky. <laughs> Sit down. I can't find Eric. He's missing. I've looked everywhere. Oh, honey. Eric is with us. Hi. Eric. Oh. Eric. How come you never greet me like that? <laughs> oh, Lynn. <laughs> Lynn, you wouldn't believe what happened here. What did Alf do and how much is it going to cost us? <laughs> we thought he lost our little Eric. It would have cost him his life. <laughs> Isn't that the silliest thing? <laughs> Look at this. Alf is safe. He's safe. Isn't that wonderful? Hey, Eric. If I wasn't doing a good job, you should have told me, instead of hopping the first dingo out of here. Alf, well, that isn't what happened. I got a hold of Lynn after school and asked her to take Eric with her over to Brian's baseball game. I told Brian to tell you, didn't he? Oh, yeah. Obviously, he did, and it slipped my mind. Oh, my gosh, what you guys must have gone through here. Oh, well, I'm just grateful it's over. Hey, why don't you tell her how you really feel, Willie? Go ahead, give it to her good. That is how I really feel. Oh, then while that dust settles, I'd like to say something, Kate. Okay. Contrary to what you people must think, I have feelings. I cried during Terms of Endearment. Although I thought it was manipulative, it touched me just the same. You also cried during Caddyshack, too. But for different reasons. Anyway, while you were out showing real estate, I dropped half my body fluid. Not that it matters to you. Well, I had no idea, Alf. I mopped it up. Thank you. And here's the real coup de ville. You fired me without even giving me the chance to prove myself. And this was one of the few times I didn't mess up. Way to trust. Will you give us another chance? Not for six bucks an hour. 
but we'll talk. <laughs>